welcome. Today, we're going to do something that is one of the most requested things since the last time we did this. And that is public domain movie night, where I find a bunch of movies that are currently in the public domain, queue them up, get ready to go, and we watch them. He's already talking during the movie's not on yet. You can talk during the time period where the lights are on in the movie theater. The first, there's, okay, there are six movies we have to watch. I'm gonna tell you, I plan on skipping around a little bit because there, it's, I don't think I'm gonna stream for 10 hours. Don't skip. No, you, I'm not talking about just skip. Oh yeah, let's open up a funny, like old horror movie. And just, yeah, skip, skip, 10 minutes, 15, 20, 30, oh, okay, that's where the guy got like attacked. Oh no, skip, skip, skip. I'm not gonna do that, I promise. And if I have to pee, I'm gonna pause the movie, so. Imagine going to a movie and somebody had to go to the bathroom. And they just pulled up a remote control and just paused. They stood up and they were like, Everybody, I'll be right back. I just have to use the bathroom. And I might get a little bit of popcorn. The first movie we're going to watch is The Devil Bat from 1940, starring Bella Lugosi. Oh, he's the loved Paul Carruthers. The kindly village doctor. No one suspected that in his home, laboratory on a hillside overlooking magnificent estate of Martin Heath, the doctor found time to conduct certain private experiments. Weird, terrifying experiments. <laughs> ah, yes, my secret laboratory. In my Minecraft house. It's a redstone door. <laughs> what the fuck? This is scary shit. I, this is scary. It's actual electricity. Okay. So it's just, it's Frankenstein with a bat. You know, somebody should tell all these mad scientists. What, why did they think just shooting fucking hundreds of millions of volts of electricity into shit was gonna make them alive? What's the science here? This is just stupid. There's no, what, why, what's the point of this? They're just, you're just like gonna, you're gonna fry it. Please don't do it again. Is he gonna do it again? Imagine if 10 minutes of the movie was literally electrocuting a bat. Okay. There's the strange, like, magical liquid. <laughs> that was a monkey! Good. That was not, that's not what a bat sounds you like! Know, if you detect the fragrance in the night, then you're fully awake. You will strike. <laughs> yes. You will strike. To kill. So if you detect the fragrance... The late. One of you's been called out on a case. But I would Remember hate it. Remember Roy, Tommy? Everybody you smokes inside. About Everybody wore suits and smoked. I want to caution both of you. God, I imagine, imagine the effort. I would, I would, I, 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 I wouldn't exist. Well, the doc isn't coming. What? Oh, what a shame. Oh, he just got busy with his new formula and forgot all about us. He'd forget the formula if he knew about that $5,000 check. Well, why don't we all go up there and give it to him? No, no, I wouldn't do that. He doesn't like visits when he's experimenting. Well, Roy, I can take the check up to him. That's, sure, I'll take it. He's dead. Shall I make the doc a speech? When sure, I I'll go die, die first. You won't have to, Roy. You got any more cigarettes? It for itself. I'm yeah, gonna smoke at least five mouthful. more before I die. I'll tell them, Doctor. No, aren't you curious about my new formula? Yes, of course, only I didn't want to be in Oh, no, no, don't, don't, don't do it. A new shaving lotion. He said anybody that smells like this is gonna get attacked by the bat. Pretty strong, isn't it? No, no. The scent evaporates a short time after you used it. Try a few drops. Now rub it on the tender part of your neck. Yeah. <laughs> Where the juggler vein is. Soothing, isn't it? Yes. When will it be ready for the market? Oh, it's still in the experimental stage. I want to try it out on several people first and see if it works. Well, if you'd like to send me a bottle, I'll be glad to try it for you. Thanks. And now it's on his hands. He's fucked. It's on Goodbye. his hands. 
He's gonna open the door to the bat, and the bat's gonna kill him. The movie ends in like 15 seconds. Tonight you have work to do. It's like the Can random footage of the way. real bat. Uh oh. Wait, where is he? He's upstairs? I thought he was down in a basement or something. He, keep, he keeps going through so many doors, I don't even know where he is. He's like up in a residential house? Uh... <laughs> he almost didn't make it through the window. His wings almost didn't make it. Uh-oh. <laughs> He's gonna hit a power line. <laughs> that was way bigger than the thing hanging upside down. This was scary to boomers. Uh, <laughs> you know, yeah, but hold on a minute. If you went back in time to like the 1200s with a lighter. Johnny Layton in here. If you just had a lighter and you went flick, 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 they would they would just attack you and they would think you were a fucking magician. You understand? Well, like uh, it's what perspective. Have I done now? Who who wants to be fired this time? Nobody yet, but it's still early. This came in from Heathville. It's a mystery killing. Old Martin Heath's son. You'll be able to see it better with this glass. Uh, why can't you just look at the guy? Are these scratches on the neck and shoulders? Why yeah. don't they still have the body? But, uh, we can't determine the source. They're too deep for fingernails. Too shallow to have been made by knife. They're more like claws. That sort of bears out Dr. Crothers' theory at the end. He's not even looking at it. How does he see that? Don't you have to look, hold up your face? Have there been any circuses around here lately? Do I not? Oh. I don't know how magnifying glasses work. I've never used one. Escaping? There is a clue. And a very weird one. Ooh. The autopsy surgeon says that such wounds could have been made by the beak and talons of a bird. A bird? That's wrong. Because it was a bat. Well, there aren't any <laughs> birds around here big enough to attack a man. How about an eagle? We know it wasn't a bird. How do you know that? Because we found several hairs on the shoulder of Heath's coat. Ah, chouchet la femme. They're not human hairs. What kind are they? Well, it may sound silly, but the laboratory test shows that they were from a mouse. <laughs> Who ever heard of a mouse big <laughs> enough to wrong. kill a man? This is the first time I've ever been invited anywhere and asked not to shave until after I get there. I wanted to observe your exact reaction when you try the lotion. Oh, now I understand. Well, well that was implying he just put all those clothes on. Before turning it over to you to be marketed. What's up with that? I, I, every, like, 40s and 50s actor, they're always, every time a scene opens, it looks like they strong. just put all their that clothes like on. The customers think they're getting their money's worth. They, like, are putting their jacket up and their tie and they're it shifting their great. elbows around. It's like you just Very put all soon. these clothes on. They do that in every think scene. Do you ever use anything else? Well, we wouldn't want to market anything we wouldn't use ourselves. Yes, yes. Put well, it in your eyes. Good enough to be used as a Put it up your nose too. Oh, what's the matter, Doc? Can't you stand your own lotion? I have a violent dislike for perfumes. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, Tommy. <laughs> he's he's Bye, touching it. Goodbye, Tommy. <laughs> Don't tell me you're waiting for that animal Dr. Carruthers mentioned. So you don't believe it either? I certainly do not. It's ridiculous. But somebody or something killed your brother. And I suppose you're working on the theory that the murderer always returns to the scene of the crime. Perhaps I am. Well, not for me. I think it's him. If you'll take my advice, Mary, you'll leave these gentlemen to their vigil and go to bed. That's what I'm going to do. Good night. Good night, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you missed him! Ah! Tommy! Come on! Ah! Pick up a chair! Pick up a chair and start swinging! Ah! Oh shit, no, this isn't a person! I don't know how to shoot! Why is he looking at that like it... I looked at the gun like he was surprised that Tommy bullets came out of it. Mysterious devil bat kills Thomas Heath. Villagers live in fear of the devil bat. Thomas Heath falls victim to monster. 
who will be the next victim? Which is cringe and terror of murder. You posted cringe. <laughs> uh oh. They even go hunting in suits. Did people in the 40s go to sleep? Take baths? Take showers in suits? Wait, they shoot? What the fuck? Sherry, are you hurt? <laughs> Say, what's the idea of breaking up my devil bath? I'm gonna make you pay for that. that I'm so going to loud. take you to jail. I've men working on a theory of a disgruntled factory employee. Who's smoking that crimes. cigarette? Do you see this? What, do you see the smoke? It's certainly more than coincidental that all the victims have been members of the Heath and Morton families. Who has that? Yeah. Oh shit! Looks I like thought he was just on fire. So farm. nonchalant too, and like he, he could just burn his suit. Look at how he's twirling it around Worse like it's a toy. Is it in his pocket? A bodyguard. <laughs> I guess we'll just have to wait. For <laughs> he pulls it out of his pocket. Oh yeah, let me take it. Take it the hall of this one. All right, so we're fired, but we're staying here just the same. I saw that bat. We're gonna stay here till we catch that bat, and when we do, I'm gonna bring it in and stuff it down your throat. Goodbye. Even trying to be aggressive, he just sounds so happy and just nice. Well, that, we're like, fired. Back in the okay. 40s, like, you just talked about literally murdering that guy I with an animal, back to choking him to death now with you give it. Him a good scare. And it sounds like he was uh, happy of my, no my straight A's in, in high school. I'm afraid not. I'm going to stay here and work with the chief. Since you're going to stay here for a while, I would like you to try out a bottle of the new lotion and tell me how you like it. Why is he such a dick, though? I don't you understand. Too, Chief. No, no, not me, Doc. If my wife ever smelled perfume on me, she'd suspect me, sure. <laughs> Why is he doing well, this to Mr. people? Well, Mr. Layton, I understand you are not married. All right, I'll try it in the morning when I shave. Like, what has he deciphered from this going, guy Chief. that's like, I, you need to die now? Right? So long, like, Dr. why is he doing this? Is it just Goodbye. evil? He's having a conversation with this guy, and he's like, they're mutually respectful here. And it's like, oh, no, you have to die now. This must be the bat's night off. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. That's <laughs> scream. Get that camera ready. Listen, Johnny, I'm going to cook that bird personally for McGinney, and I'll even stuff it myself. <laughs> he shot him. Like, f why was there so many pauses between the shooting? Doctor, it's strange that you have a uh, $1,200 a month electric bill in the 40s, which should be six cents. Can you explain that? Oh, come, come, Doc. You can't pretend to control a man's destiny. I've already proved it three times. It's going to come in the window, isn't it? I hope so. I'm sorry. Now, I built this company. Perhaps you're right, Henry, about my working too hard. I guess I'm a little tired. I better go home and get some rest. Sure. A night's sleep will do you good. Good night, Doc. Goodbye, Henry. Here comes an imposter moment. I think I've got a clue to all those murders. It may peter out, but if half what I suspect is true, it's the most diabolical plot that a madman ever concocted. What is it? Just wait, I'll tell you in five seconds. Talk about the absent-minded professor. I forgot my hat. <gasps> oh, no. I'll tell you all about it when I get there. Yeah, I'll tell you later. I hope I didn't intrude on a private conversation. <laughs> no, nothing important. I don't understand that trope. I'm the only one that knows this information. And I this guy's a killer and I'll die. But no, no, I'll tell you uh, next Monday when we have lunch. Just tell him now. Hey, the murder is literally here. It's, uh, it's bats and he's putting perfume on people. I saw him vent. <laughs> okay. Yes, that's right. Bella Lagosi is here and I saw him vent. He was an admin. And I know that because I was an admin. 
And I did all my tasks. This is Boomer Death Note. <laughs> That's so stupid. Oh. <laughs> we doing? You see, Doc? That was a fart in an elevator face. According to your theory, the killer wouldn't attack me. I haven't any of that lotion on me. <laughs> you have now, Doc. Why did you do that? To make it a 50-50 proposition, Doc. Now sit down. Shoot him. And don't try any shenanigans. Shoot him. Not so funny when it's your own juggler vein that's in danger. He's flipping a coin. Is it, Doc? If the bat comes, what if it attacks him and kills I don't know him? What, you're talking about. what are you doing? Maybe you've made a mistake when you let that devil bat of yours out of the attic tonight. Don't worry about the bat killing you. I'm saving you for the hangman. Uh oh, here it comes. <laughs> Again, you could have just shot him. What happens? He missed. Quick time event. Hello, Chief. What are you doing what? out here? <laughs> Young fellow, don't think that you're the only man working on this case. It was lucky I was here, too. Thanks. Did you kill the devil bat? No, he got away. Well, here's one bird that didn't get away, and he's the murderer we've both been looking for. <laughs> Quick, shoot it! <laughs> How many people are shooting at this? Where is it? It's gone. And so's the doctor. What are they he doing? What happened? This is Dr. just Brothers like is game NPC AI. In the garden. You fellas get back to the house and guard Mary. I feel like the same shit happened in like Far Cry 3. Come on. Like I'm Bella Lugosi and I can just get the fuck away. Oh, they got it! Are you alright, Mary? Go help Dr. Carruthers, he's over there. That devil, that belonged to the doctor, Mary. He created it to commit those murders. Well, it's too late to help the doc. <laughs> that's it? That's the- that's it? Wait, what? Okay, that was- uh, that was Devil Bat. Uh, the Devil Bat. Okay, I, I, if I would have to rate that movie, I would give that movie a- If I saw that in the 40s? That was probably like a 7.8. Like it maybe like an 8.0. It was a scary bat. In 2021, that's probably like a, a like a three. Coming up next, we have a, a movie, a classic. We're going to watch Vincent Price, House on Haunted Hill. The original from 1959. Three, two, one, go. House on Haunted Hill. Jesus Christ! Oh my God! What <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. Whoa. Okay. There he is. It's Price. I'm Frederick Lauren, and I've rented the house on Haunted Hill tonight so that my wife can give a party, a haunted house party. <laughs> She's so amusing. There'll be food and drink and ghosts, and perhaps even a few murders. You're all invited. I don't want to go. If any of you will spend the next 12 hours in this house, I'll give you each $10,000. Or your next of kin, in case you don't survive. Well, if I were going to haunt anybody, this would certainly be the house I'd do it in. Who closed the door? No, nothing happened. This is the AC turned on. Mr. 
thing's made of solid steel. Jesus! See that stain? Blood. A young girl was killed here. And whatever yeah, got her wasn't human. Don't stand there. What do you mean? Where? Too late. They've marked you. They pissed the bed. The That's not even. There's if I said that, you would minus two. Mr. Norton did a good deal of experimenting with wines, but his wife didn't think it was any good. So he filled the vat with acid and threw her in. She was supposed to stay down, but the bones came up. It's a funny thing. None of the murders here were just ordinary. Just shooting or stabbing. They've all been sort of wild. Stop saying Rick and wild. Morty. Does it go anywhere? Uh oh. Oh, no, she she got out of the AI's spawn range. It was de aggroed. We'll have to break it down and stop. Oh, zoinks. Huh? <laughs> wow, you're an idiot. You didn't do that, did you? You not look where you're going? Yeah. So this is like pre-big prank video setup where the person has like 10 monitors and like 45 people working there. He has to sit here and watch this happen. Mr. Lauren, are you really going to... He doesn't have like a command center where they go watch. Certainly. He has to stay in the house with them. Isn't he just in the same amount of danger? Yeah, he doesn't get to put like the big headphones on and crack up like, Oh my god! <laughs> laughing with like three other people laughing behind the scenes in the command center. And then take the headphones off and come in and, 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 and talk to somebody and like prank them. Three, six, nine, twelve. Twelve feet. It's hollow? Three, six. Now I'm gonna knock on the other wall. When you hear me, you knock on this wall. They're gonna find him on the ground again. This guy can't be trusted. He hit his head again. You just, you just, he, you just hear like a, oh, like on the other side of that wall. He walked into the other side. Nice animation. That was an actress. Or an actor. <laughs> Where'd it come from? From in here. <laughs> the game lagged out. <laughs> what if it ran out of That's here? That's so funny. We just said, yo, where's Dracula? I'm not sure he's in this particular movie. <laughs> yo, where's Dracula? Okay, I'll be down in a minute. The jacket off was the pajamas of the 50s. Mm-hmm. That's how it's like, okay, I'm relaxing host, now. No jacket on. <laughs> Wait, didn't she pack that suitcase? <laughs> Loot. Uh-oh. I think we have our first death incoming. Come with us. Who the Come fuck? with us before he kills you. <laughs> he 
It's Bugleberry. Where's Laura? That's not Where's Dracula. Mary? In spite of my wife's faith in my ability to do the impossible, we will all have to stay in this house until 8 o'clock in the morning. But we have some party favors for you in these little coffins. Weapons? Knives? Guns? Hatchets? my wife's idea. Yep. I must say, I think it's rather dangerous. I suppose you all know how to use one of these things, but in case you don't, you just press down on this lever with your thumb and then pull the trigger. By the way, her you ears, she would have, her, da her ears are damaged forever. These are no good against the dead, only the- You shot that right next to her head. This is just turning into a battle royale game. Yeah, zero oh, gun sure safety. We're not gonna go running around the house shooting each other, aren't you? Who knows? Fear makes people do amazing things. That yeah, you don't like point it. Does stop that? Oh my god, that's giving me so much like anxiety. Are you sure there are only seven people in this house? Positive, except for the ghosts. I don't believe in ghosts, nor in frightening women. In Nora's case, it's gone far enough. Perhaps too far. What do you suggest we do about it, Doctor? Don't frighten her anymore. Okay. That's a great, great idea. Yes. You don't believe in frightening women? Yeah, what's that supposed to mean? Like you don't think they Laura? exist? I don't. I don't believe in a, in a frightening woman. What? What are you talking about? He was attributing Laura? frightening women to ghosts not being real. What is he talking about? You walk around with this. Why is he walking around with this? What do you know about this? They've taken her. In a little while, she'll be one of them. Where's Nor? Where is she? It's too late. It's too late. You'll never find her again. Pritchard, if you know where she is, you better tell me now. She's gone. She's gone with them. And there's nothing you can do about it. That sounded like a death scream. What kind of reaction was that? That was like a mild inconvenience that she was in the way. Oh, there's a person, like, dead up here, hanging up here. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of in the way. Yeah, just put it down. What? Not why none of them are reacting. React harder. Nora. React harder. She's dead, Mr. Lauren. Your wife hanged herself. I'm sure you've come to the same conclusion I have. Yeah, I think so. Well, let's all have a meeting. Discuss what to do. The living room? I'm not going to say it. Okay. I'm not going to say it. One of you has to. I'm not going to say it. You say it. Yeah. I'm not going to take the minus two on this one. You have to. <laughs> you were the first one to see my wife there. Did you also see anything that she could have climbed up on and then jumped? No. Did any of you? There was nothing. How then did she get up there so high? Exactly, Mr. Lauren, how? She couldn't have pulled herself up there. She couldn't have dropped from the ceiling. Do you think your wife killed herself? No. She was murdered by one of you. Oh. Or you, Mr. Lauren. Ooh. To deliberately kill someone, you must have a reason. We were all strangers to your wife. 
Only you had a motive for murder. Oh, this isn't getting us anywhere. Somebody killed Mrs. Laura, and we know that. One of us is guilty, and the rest of us are innocent. Okay. Now, what we have to do for the next six hours is protect ourselves from each other. Do you really think... I don't think anything. I just know that I'm going to my room. And if anybody comes in, I'll shoot him. Or her. And if we all stay in our rooms, that, we'll be safe. You know, that's... Yeah, the I, innocent will have no reason to leave his room. It's true. And the guilty will admit his guilt if he or she does. And Sorry? we all have guns. And we're all agreed. Oh, I wish this night were over. Skip voting. The thing is, no, nobody went like this, so you can't tell who the imposter is. Nobody went like this. This is how you can tell. Nobody went like this. Dude, I... Dude. That's how you tell. Nobody went... No, you're cute. Dude, I swear I... That's how you can tell. If I find a way out, I'll come back and get you. Wait, out of curiosity, wasn't that the guy that said if anybody comes in his room, he's going to shoot them immediately and he's just walking around? It's just stay in your room. You gave everybody that idea. What are you, what's wrong with you? I thought that was a snake. Is this, no, it's not a snake. I thought that was a snake. <laughs> How would physics allow that to happen? Smooth? Smooth! Move! It's paralysis. Read the rules next time. <laughs> Run around with a gun? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Whose hand is that? <laughs> that, was, that was a gorilla? Yes, yes, this is this guy. Yeah. What's happening? We've done it. A perfect crime. Beautiful. Has she killed him? Not yet. But she will. So the crime hasn't been committed yet, so it's not the perfect crime. You didn't do it yet. Get me out of this hanging harness. I'm going back to lie down and pretend to be asleep. Get the fuck out of here and Taking finish it. So Don't come back in here again till it's done. At first, I couldn't get Nora to... Nora oh, is no. sure Frederick murdered you. She thinks Frederick attacked her in the cellar, not me. And now Nora's almost out of her mind with fear. The heads, the music, you're hanging. I tell you, when Frederick walks in there, she'll shoot him. It's taking too long. David, you ought to be there. When you hear the shot, come down to the cellar. <laughs> They're like smushed into each other. <laughs> Their faces were both made out of clay for a second. Wow, the, like the big smush where your lips are touching, but so are your cheeks, your nose, your chin, your face. Your, everything is like smushed into each other. We call that passion, buddy. <laughs> I, think he, I think the doctor's going to go in the acid. Things are going to open up. He's about to push somebody in. They're going to turn it around. He's going to fall in. No. No. Each. Been done. 
Open up the acid vat! Nope. Nope. I know what happened. He didn't load- he gave the guns to everybody, he didn't load them with bullets, they're blanks. So he's pretending to be dead right now, then he's gonna turn on this guy, throw him in the acid, movie over. He gave the guns to everybody. Watch this. Never mind. <laughs> uh, don't tell me that every death in this movie is going to be in the acid. I thought it was going to be a red herring, but it's not. It's every character death. Why is it walking? At last you've got it all. Everything I have. <laughs> Even my life. But you are not going to live to enjoy it. Come with me, murderess. Come with me. <laughs> this is so weird. It's a wicked shitty skeleton. Just push it. It's so fragile. You're not gonna fall in the acid, are you? behind that push was the same amount of force that comes out of when you blow your nose into a tissue. Wait, what? I've shot Mr. Lauren. He's down in the wine cellar. Alive. I don't think so. If two people have died, in, I, I imagine that's like a six foot tall by like three foot wide cube, right? There's like two fucking bodies it's in him. here. He's alive. You didn't shoot anyone, my dear. I loaded your gun with blanks. I can tell you all now. Trent and my wife were planning to kill me. They failed. Trent tried to throw me in the vat. My wife stumbled and fell. I'm ready for justice to decide if I'm innocent or guilty. Right, then there's another mega twist, where it turns out the vat was actually filled with ecto cooler, I see, and it's not actually real acid, and they triple played all the people here. No. So did they not get any money? Wait, did they not get any ten thousand dollars? What happened to money? You put on an elaborate scam to make sure that you kill your wife? These people don't get any money. They just had a, a bunch of, like, traumatizing shit happen. I want to see... Hold on. I need to see the push into the acid again. That was unbelievable. I think this warrants a, uh, a, a playback speed. This shit is like, this shit is like deep fried now. <laughs> okay. That was good. I like that one a lot. So our third feature of the evening is going to be a, a meme. This is a meme one. <clears throat> I've never seen this movie. I've heard that it's just awful and outrageous. 
I, I, I don't know anything about it. It's been requested a bunch of times. It is Manos, the hands of fate. I'm ready. I at least have to give, it's the meme. I have to give the meme a chance. This movie is bad, but it's legendary bad. The opening sequence is 15 minutes of driving. No, it's not. Now I'm very curious. Okay, <laughs> no, it's not. It's not 15 minutes driving, it can't be. Oh no, fuck this movie. <laughs> Wait, oh, how come so many of you guys have seen this? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 your merrily, boat life gently is but down a the stream. Dream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. I thought he was gonna put merrily, the, put it up, merrily, but the merrily, top up. They just almost drove. They're just on the wrong side of the road. They aren't even in sync. Well, that's the point. <laughs> They weren't not in sync. Okay, that's. <laughs> if you don't understand that like song, how that goes, then you're like, why? That sounds horrible. That doesn't need to be in the movie. That doesn't have to be in the movie. That what? what that does. What's the point? You, there really is just a 15 minute driving sequence. You're right. Please pick any other movie. I don't want to watch this again. We're almost there, Debbie. Just a few minutes more. I don't even, I don't, why everybody's seen this but me apparently. Holy shit, I thought I thought you were just over exaggerating. We're six minutes into the movie and there's still people just driving look, cars. Where are they even driving? There's no road. Wait, uh No laughing? Okay, fine. <clears throat> Alright, if I laugh, I'll skip the movie. Get going, get going. Right already. Why is he huge? What's going on with this car? Come on now, no wisecracks. Just Why is this car? On. So, okay. what's going on with this car? Get going. Why is he going. right already? In front of the cop? You may as well have like thrown like an empty Dunkin' Donuts container out of at, at the window at the same time. What? Are you serious? <laughs> it's the hardest thing ever. Well, I don't know what else we can do. But Mike, I don't want to stay here. And the master wouldn't approve. Well, don't worry about it. We're here now, and I'm sure the master won't throw us out. Well, why can't you just drive away, it, Torgo? I don't want to stay. Let's leave. I don't know about it. I just don't know. <laughs> Uh, okay, so don't stay and just leave and get in the car and drive away. What's stopping them from just leaving? Where the car doesn't have headlights? They're wasting, so they're spending, this is like 15 minutes they could be on the road already. Just sitting here, look at this guy's making faces at him. I'll get the, the luggage. Torgo, we'll stay tonight and then tomorrow. You we'll... must be. You cannot stay. The master would not uh, approve. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck was that? What was the mother music? <laughs> it was the. Uh, it wasn't even that funny. It was the fucking music. Three strikes? Can I get three strikes? That was. <laughs> three strikes and I'm out, please. I have feelings more to see. Okay, ready? Three. Two. I gotta get it out of me because I just Look keep replaying that music. The music just keeps replaying up here. What are they posing for a picture? <laughs> My God. 
must be your master. Where did you say he was? He has left this world. But he is with us always. No matter where we go, he is with us. What? No matter where he goes? What does that mean? That dog is the most vicious looking animal I've ever seen. Well, I hope he goes where the master goes. It's just a there dog. nothing to fear, madam. It's just a dog. The, the most vicious you. animal you've nothing ever seen. Happen. I'll be glad to leave. I've had all of this place I want. Madam, it will be very dangerous to leave now. The master wants you. Wants? I thought he said that they had to leave, the, and, and the master didn't that? want them. He wants you for his wife. He loves beautiful women. End of the Might film well reel. Thousand miles. Easy, honey. It won't help to get mad. Sinister. Sinister <laughs> isn't descriptive enough. Honey, we'll leave in the morning, and soon this place will be forgotten. Forgotten? I'll never forget. Peppy's gone. I just hope Debbie will understand. She'll understand. She's <laughs> my baby. That's strike two. She'll That's understand. strike two. I hope so, darling. I That's sure strike two. So. She's my baby. She'll understand. It's the dog, the ferocious dog. Where is dog. she? <laughs> oh my God! Somebody said the couch is wicked dirty. Don't get wrong, she's probably playing hide and seek. Okay, Debbie, we see you. I Come just out. Come out wherever it. you are. Maybe Somebody said that 20 room. minutes ago. Outside. It's got <laughs> to be outside. Her. All right, we'll look outside for her. Debbie. Debbie. <laughs> Debbie. Say, Debbie. <laughs> Debbie. <laughs> Mike, I'm scared. The animals... Give me a button. Hold on. He, bear, you have to bear with me for a second. Bear with me for a second. It, it looks like he's a fucking Luke Skywalker lightsaber. She couldn't have Just gone look, outside. It's like, holy shit, the guy's... bolted. For God's sake, don't panic. She's got to be in here. We need to just look. Is there another exit to the outside? It was the fact that he's like, get these high ride pants in and like kitchen. a Luke Skywalker replica. <laughs> That door is bolted too. <laughs> outside, Mike. She's got to be outside. All right, we'll look outside for her. How much? Oh my God. We look how much. There's so much. I don't want to watch. I don't want to watch this whole thing. We're on times two speed. to get lightheaded. I have to five take a second. Hold on, I have to take a second. I have, I have to pause for a second. This movie sucks. Holy shit, what a shitty movie. Oh my god. Alright, my wives. 
Give ear to the words of Manus. Arise, my wives, and hear the will of Manus. What's going on? <laughs> oh, this is freaking me out. Hold on. Wait time to stop that. <laughs> Sims discussing how to put out a fire. Oh my god. Slow? You are a troublemaker. You deserve to die. Die. I may die. It's a, a wife war? You are all mad. Mad, the whole lot of you. The man, yes. The child, no. <laughs> Wait, why she did that? <laughs> and today in the German Rumble, the six person Manos Y fight. What the fuck? I hate this movie. Everything's so like creepy and like slow and weird. And they're all so fucking creepy and I hate it. I hate this whole movie. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Who's Michael? Michael, where are you? <laughs> Michael. This is fucking crazy. It's Mario music. Do you know? It's, do you know what it feels like? This feels like every a dream. This is how shit plays out in your dreams, where shit happens way too fast and way too slow, and stuff like grabbing somebody's shirt is apparently killing them, right? And like you kind of it cuts around in your head to like different perspectives, and sometimes it resets and does it again. This is surreal. This is crazy. It was a minion Your laugh. Power fails. You <laughs> I can't laugh anymore. Stop. Destroy. Please. <laughs> Wait, holy shit. What? <laughs> Wait, what happened? What happened? <laughs> holy fuck, he tumbled. <laughs> what the hell? Like, are you all right? That was real commitment. Are they on the shop for so long? What the fuck is going on? I am Michael. I take care of the place while the master is away. So, what? So, Tar so Targo was just a visitor or something a, a, a while back or something? Wait, what? That's actually the worst movie I've ever seen. Go back and get the good ending. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm like, I'm done. Like, my body hurts. My whole my whole head hurts. My, my stomach hurts. I kind of feel like we have to just, like, play some Three Stooges or something. I don't know. I feel like shit right now. 
<sighs> it was a point where during like the Ed Ed and Eddie rolling around fight sequence, where like air wasn't oxygen wasn't going to my brain. 